Scapula, uh, which is uh, situated onto the posterior side of our thorax. Yes. So, how to determine the side of the scapula? Uh, first of all, see the glenoid cavity. That glenoid cavity should be laterally. One thing. Then, from the superior and inferior. Remember, this uh, inferior angle. And this is the superior angle. Okay, so that superior angle should be superiorly, and that uh, inferior angle should be inferior. Okay, fine. From anterior and posterior, remember there is a spine portion. That spine portion should be onto the posterior side. Or acromion process. This portion. That uh, should also be onto the posterior side. So remember this spine acromion process posteriorly. Glenoid cavity laterally. And uh, this is a superior angle, superiorly, inferior angle, inferiorly. Okay, fine. Now remember the borders of the scapula. This is the, the lateral border, which is a thick. This is the medial border, which is very thin. Right. So medial border, lateral border, inferior angle, superior angle, spine. Yes, this is the spine and that portion is known as the acromion process and this process is known as the coracoid process okay fine with the help of the spine that uh, posterior surface yes that is onto the posterior side that posterior surface is uh, divided into the two parts one that is known as the supraspinatus fossa the lower side that is known as the infraspinatus fossa this is the spine supraspinatus fossa infraspinatus that is also onto the dorsal surface and onto the ventral surface that is all known as the subscapular fossa which fossa subscapular fossa okay let's revise fast how to determine the side of the scapula so this scapula is a right side of scapula how it is a right side of scapula because the glenoid cavity should be laterally spine should be posteriorly superior angle or you can say coracoid process portion should be superiorly and that is the inferior portion. If I try to put onto the left side, then glenoid cavity will come onto the medial side. Or if I try to put like this onto this side, then this spine portion will come anterior side. So it should be onto the posterior side. So it should be onto the right side of the scapula. Okay, fine. Now attachments over the scapula. I have made some groups for remembering the attachment. Yes. Uh, onto the lateral border, upper side there is a teresa minor, lower side there is a teresa major, and onto the inferior angle there is a latissimus dorsi. Three muscles teres minor, teres major, and latissimus dorsi. Three. Onto the medial border, you should remember three. On to the superior side, there is a levator scapula. On just near to the spine, there is a rhomboid minor. And lower side, there is a rhomboid major. So remember three muscles. Levator, scapula, rhomboid minor and rhomboid major. Clear? So three, three groups. Levator scapula, rhomboid minor, rhomboid major. Teres minor, teres major, latissimus dorsi. Let's come on to the superior part. On to the superior part, this is the spine and this portion is known as the acromion process. So on to the spine, superior portion and on to the acromion process, medial side. There is a one muscle and that is known as the trapezius. And on to the inferior side of the spine and lateral part of the acromion process, there is one muscle and that is known as the deltoid. So lower lateral deltoid superior medial trapezius now this is the spine on the super side supraspinatus fossa and muscle that is known as the supraspinatus muscle and this is the infraspinatus fossa and muscle that is known as the infraspinatus muscle right let's revise fast teres minor teres major latissimus dorsi levator scapula rhomboid minor rhomboid major supraspinatus muscle infraspinatus muscle 
type a zs and delta t now come on to the ventral surface run to the ventral surface you have to remember only one muscle and that is known as the subscapular muscle which muscle muscle subscapular and on to the medial border you have to remember one muscle that is known as the serratus anterior which muscle serratus anterior the two muscle subscapularis and serratus anterior but serratus anterior on to the medial border on to the anterior side don't confuse yourself that rhomboid minor major are on to the medial border posterior side and serratus anterior is on anterior side clear process remember three main muscles on to the coracoid process what are those on to the tip of the coracoid process we have two muscles one that is known as the short head of the biceps and coracobrachialis both are originating together short head of biceps and coracobrachialis and just posterior to that that is one muscle that is known as the pectoralis minor which muscle pectoralis minor so remember two here coracobrachialis and short head of biceps and here there will be pectoralis minor now remember two long heads this is the glenoid cavity on to the superior part there is a supraglenoid tubercle and on to the inferior part that is known as the infraglenoid tubercle on to the superior part there is a long head of bicep and on to the inferior part that is the long head of the triceps so two main muscles long head of biceps and long head of triceps that's how we remember the muscles into the groups it will be very much easy for remembering let's revise complete attachment over the scapula from the starting to the end three muscles on to the posterior side medial border levator scapula rhomboid minor rhomboid major on to the lateral border teres minor teres major and latissimus dorsi above the spine supraspinatus below the spine infraspinatus on to the spine and medial trapezius on to the lower and lateral deltoid on to the ventral side subscapularis and serratus anterior then on to the coracoid process short head of biceps and coracobrachialis here there will be the pectoralis minor and uh, there are two long heads one on to the long head of biceps lower side that is known as the long head of uh, triceps thank you